time travel last round here with a let's play of Lufia 2, Rise of the Sinistrals. Game came out in 1996. It's a late one. Guess we're having a glowing orb convention here at this spooky castle. I guess we're done. Oh, sorry. The red orb was late. I've arrived. Aram, I'd like to ask you something. Yes. Who should lead the world? We gods or humans? It's only natural that we control the world. Well, but why do you ask that? Judgment time, along with the dual blade, has come. Are you saying the dual blade is resonating? Would you go? Yes. All right. That answered none of my questions about this game. Off she goes. I guess she went on a bit of an adventure those three islands. Lufia 2, Rise of the Sinistrals. I heard there are monsters in the North Cave. Yeah. Are you going away again? Well, that's my job. Be, be careful. I'll be all right. You always say that, but I always worry. I'll get them, but you have to buy them to you. I will. Well, see ya. Oh, guy, you're here. Hilda, what's up? Jesse was looking for you. Really? She was upset. Did you do something? Nope. Yeah. I forgot her date and went to get monsters. Typical. No wonder Jesse's angry. Women don't get it. It's a man thing. I get it all right. You prefer monsters. Oh, monster girls, maybe. I don't know what guy's into. Lemmy's a crybaby. Lemmy's a crybaby. Crybaby. Fuck off, you two. Hey, you boys. You should be nice to girls. Oh, no. It's a land. Run. Ah. Salan. Oh, I told him to fuck off and he wouldn't. Listen carefully, Lemmy. Nobody likes a crybaby. Well, 
Why? My father said it's okay for girls to cry. Listen, a woman's tears should... Well, nobody likes a crybaby, let me, let's just say that. I say there's no one who can beat me. Monsters are all over the North Labyrinth. Chill, good man, with my sword, I'll... <gasps> Where are the monsters? In the North Labyrinth, your highness. Excellent. Yosef, follow me. Yes, your highness. Sir? Sir Dakar? I'm sure he's fine. Ah, my miniature ship has arrived. I get it. So that's how boats work. I understand at last. I'll start work right now. Looks like Lexus is off inventing again. His inventions never work the way they should. Yeah, he sank a ship with his last one. What was that invention anyway? A machine to move ships without wind. Oh, that's right. Hey, your memory is pretty good. Because it was my ship that went under. Milk away. Tia. Milk, where have you been these days? I. Uh, the worst thing you can do is lie to yourself. But aren't you the people in the city? Milka, say nothing more. Mother. RT is aware of everything. Here. RT, it must be really hard on you, too. Us are humans. Which of us is really transient on Earth? Dual blade. Do you have the real answer? All right, well, we managed to get a nice bite-sized part of several origin stories. I still don't know what's going on. Apparently some sinistrals are going to rise. Let's start a free game. Maxim. That is what I'll be called in 100 years after saving the world, but nowadays people just call me Harv. I'm not sure why they call me Maxim, but just old Harv. Tia, are you home? Hi, Harv. How was work today? All right, I got six jellies. Let's see. That'll be 120 gold pieces, right? Wait a minute, Tia. I said six jellies. That comes to 180 gold pieces. Look, monsters are cheap these days. The city's suffering, so I can't pay the top price. Yeah, it's true. More monsters every day. It's spooky, you know. Well, I should appreciate it, though. I'm a monster hunter. I'd lose my job without them. Harv, have you thought about getting an ordinary job? What is an ordinary job, anyway? Let's see. Like, a shop owner, perhaps? Me, a shop owner? <laughs> That'll be the day. How can he be so insensitive? Did you say something, Tia? Forget it. Here's your money. 
thought I heard a thought bubble pop up. What's a regular job anyways? I could stand in the town square and walk in circles, say the exact same thing to someone. I could hear Tia's voice from here. You should apologize to her later, okay? Yeah, you've got a regular town job, just walking back and forth. Why doesn't Tia get upset at anyone but you, Harv? Doesn't she like you? Apparently she does. Thanks for letting me know, townsperson. Hey, Harv. How's the warrior business? How is the warrior business, Harv? I'm level one. It's, it's not going very well, apparently. I have a knife and a clothes. That's the monster business. I just promised to do it before everybody else said they would. I have to go to Sundleton to get my grandpa's favorite tea. Don't you think there are more monsters in the cave to Sundleton than there used to be? I don't know. The city's so peaceful. Hey, speaking of peaceful, is it the kind of city where I can loot treasure chests from uh, boxes and barrels? Doesn't seem to be. Doesn't seem to be. Hello? I have a sense of foreboding these days. I hope it's nothing. Maybe it's a man rummaging through your home. I swore you could... Oh, I'm pretty sure we could loot bookshelves and stuff in Luffy 1. I saw a red ball of light shoot into the northern sea last night. I wonder what it was. It, were you not watching the prologue? I don't know either. My granddaughter Daisy is going to Sundleton to buy some wonderful tea. I look forward to it. You just live here with your granddaughter. All right, well, it was the olden days. They just have a single stool. Not very rich in this house. I guess that's where he sits to drink the tea. No formal training, yet your swordsmanship is good. You must have natural talent. Well, I didn't get to level one by being bad at my job. More monsters in the cave. Is this uh, where Jesus lives? It sure is. I've been around for quite some time. I know many things, you see. What do you wish to know? About save? Oh, I see. About save, eh? You can use save at a cleric, or I hear, in dungeons. Although I've never seen this save thing. Is it something you can eat? What can I do for you today? Ah, uh, save. We've done it. Cure and lift. about spells. You must buy spells at the spell shop. You don't learn spells naturally during battle, really. There's a spell shop in town, too. Why not have a look? You can see help in battle or when you buy items. Place the cursor at spell or item and press the X button. Help is great when you don't know the effects of a spell, but where does it come from, I wonder? That was it. Please come back anytime you want more information. Can I help on this? No, I'm guessing cure is poison and lift is revive. All right, thank you, Jesus. Listen, Harv, there's a somewhat unusual way to use spells. Would you like to know about it? Yes. There's no such thing as a one enemy or all enemy spell anymore. It's any spell for any enemy. When there are three jellies, you can put a spell on any or all of them. Of course, if you attack all of them, the damage is less compared to attacking just one. You can concentrate your spell against one enemy or spread it out to attack all weak enemies at once. Also, it's troublesome to choose one enemy at a time when attacking all of them. In that case, use the R button to select the, all the enemies at once. Remember this. But what is an R button? I don't know. Do you know, Harv? I do. It's a secret. Level 1 adventurers only. Holy shit, I can't afford any of these. Restore some HP is strong. Spark. Small fireballs head enemy. I can't cast spark. Detox. Antidote for poison. Oh, I probably want that one. Restore some HP. Hello? Harv, I'll show you my secret to dungeon fighting sometime soon. Okay. Hello, Harv. You've done a lot for us. Can't take your money. Do you want to stay over? Like a date? Maybe this might be my boyfriend. Not a lot of good shit to steal from this town. I'm not blown away. Welcome to Elsid. 
Is she still mad or is she a shop? Harv, please be careful. Anyways, you need anything? Okay, she's a real shop. Um, we could buy... Or well, we can just do this. We can check help everything. Partially restores HP. Here's poison. Warps you to any city you've already visited. That's handy. Escape. Leave the dungeon. Boomerang. Damages all enemies for a whopping 20G. That's not too bad. What do we have here? Sell frying pans, which I can't fight with. Carvers I can't fight with. A knife is what I have. I should probably buy this. Rapier. A small size of knife. A long thin sword. What do we have for armor? Apron I can't wear. I can't wear the one-piece swimsuit, unfortunately. Most people wear them just to protect their clothes, but other people think they're kind of cute. Cloth, which I'm wearing. A pot, which I can't wear. Chop board, which I can't wear. Uh, I, I don't have a small shield, so I can buy a small shield or a rapier. Probably the rapier. Equip it, and then we sell the knife. Apparently I have a single arrow. Let's you freeze enemies temporarily and flick switches from a distance. Can I rob you, Tia? This might not be a search, though. I would really like to steal something from you just to verify if it's that kind of game. Because I remember getting some pretty sweet bookshelf treasure in one. I guess we'll just leave. Oh, it's you, Harv. This is a good time to show you my secret techniques for fighting in dungeons. I'll wait for you at the dungeon south of here. I didn't ask, but see you there. It's right there. Holy shit, I'm a fucking map rocket ship. Secret Skills Cave. You took so long, Harv. Let's go ahead and start the lesson for secret techniques in the dungeon. First, the important thing is to learn the patterns of the monster's movements. Monsters move only when you move, so don't worry even if a monster is in front of you. Oh good, I see a jelly right there. Why don't you try to get that jelly? This is probably run. I don't know what this is. I don't know any spells. Can't use her arrow in combat. I can change my equipment. We'll just club him. Well, rapier him, I suppose. We've done it. Gets to experience, gets to gold. Now hang on. Tia pays like 30 gold for a jelly. Harv, next level eight. That's our Harv. Jellies are nothing for him. But don't get cocky. Some monsters are fast, gaining two steps to your one. Also, when there are many monsters in a room, don't let them surround you. Of course, the monsters move only when you move, so stop and think before you act. Good. Let's move on to the next room. Enter from the door over there. That's a fancy door for a cave, old man. In this room, we'll learn how to use skills. Press the select button to display the skills you have. Select the skill you wish to use. You now have only the skill arrow, but you'll receive more. Incidentally, arrows can freeze enemy movement for a while. Press the Y button to shoot them. When you hit an enemy with an arrow, it's temporarily paralyzed. Bumping into a paralyzed enemy doesn't lead to a battle. Skills never run out, so shoot an arrow when you don't feel like fighting. Select the skill you wish to use with the select button and press the Y button to use it. You might use your skills often in dungeons. You can fight with that jelly there or use arrows to stop its movement and not fight. It's up to you. Huh. I will fight it anyways. We need some walking around gold. And he is frozen for a while. That's probably based on steps. Yeah, it's based on steps. But is it my old nemesis? Red Jelly. Got him. Two and two. We're going to level up soon. Old man. The bridge gave way, but can be crossed when the switch in the back is shifted. The switch is not within your reach. Hmm, we're in trouble. We can't go on. I was just kidding. You can also use skills in a situation like this. Arrows are not only to stop enemy movement. Why don't you hit that switch with an arrow? Huh. I don't think that's how wooden bridges work. Press the select button. Oh, fucking old news, old man. Right through here, I guess. Weird part of the cave. The door to the next room is locked. Can you find the key to open it? 
Can you see the switch at the upper left? Stand on top of it. See that opened the door, however. Step off the switch to close the door, got it? In other words, that switch works only with something on it. Now, what should you do? The answer is this pillar. Stand next to the pillar and walk while pressing the A button. Good, go on now, okay. That's right, Harv. Please wait a moment, I almost forgot. I forgot to give you one very precious spell. You can't survive the dungeons without it. It's reset. If there's a puzzle like this in the room where you push something, you must remember one thing. Although you can push the pillars, you can't pull them. In other words, if you push the pillar against a wall or a door, you can do nothing more. But don't worry, there's a reset spell that sets it all up again. This spell sends you back in time to when you just entered the room. Everything in the room returns to its original position, including the monsters. Reset does not take any MP, thus you can use it as many times as you wish. Possess this spell and you'll have nothing to fear. I shall give you the reset spell. Holy shit, I could reset a room and just farm in the same room. You can also find reset on the skill ring. Press select, then up or down on the control pad. Okay. Whenever you see arrows like those on the cliff on the right, you can jump down. Give it a try. Oop. You go up the ladder? Okay. The next door will open when you defeat all the monsters. When you can't find any devices or tricks, one way to solve a problem is to defeat all the monsters. One way to solve a problem is to kill them all. All right, lizard. We've done it. Oh, that actually... Kinda wish I had that shield. Ooh, that's a level, I think. Six XP, 10 gold. Some charred newt for nibbling. Harv levels up. Maximum HP increases by 10. Maximum MP increases by seven. Stir increases by five. A gill increases by four. Int increases by four. And a magur increases by two. 34 experience to level up. Come here, little shit. Thank God my boyfriend lets us sleep at the end for free. This kind of hurts. Oh, wait, I gained. I gained 10 hit points. That's why my bar is so empty looking. Well, that did open the door. Press the B button to swing your sword. You can cut grass using the sword. Sometimes switches are hidden under the grass. Why don't you try to find one? Look at that. Ooh. If I was a secret door, I'd be behind those vines. We gotta do that. Well, to nobody's surprise, it's right here. Press the A button to pick up and put down the vase. This is a unique skill. Press the control pad while pressing the R button to change direction without moving. You need this skill to change direction when there's no room to move freely. Don't forget how to use the R button. Let's see. What do you think will happen if you put the pot on that slate? Why don't you try it? Wow. Press the A button and you can pick up put down the vases. Oh, there's another one, okay. Look at that. What if those pots break? I guess you'd just be dead. Well, I guess I've finished the lesson. Of course you can, you've only begun to learn. To get through many dungeons, you must try many different things. It's not easy to do, but I'm certain you'll make it. Well, I must be off. Me too, I gotta go back to that inn. I think we needed 100 gold to buy that shield, which I don't think we have. I think it was like 300 gold to buy that heal. Tia seemed to be waiting for you to return. Go visit her later. Do you want to stay over? You bet. You bet, sugar. Uh, what do we got here? I only have 48 gold. We cannot buy that shield. 